All right, the brand new air purifier and inline fan from X-Tool, the AP2, the IF2. Uh, these machines, obviously, these accessories work great on all X-Tool lasers. However, if you're coming here from a different laser brand, uh, these certainly would work and it would be compatible uh, with the other brands. It's, it's just a duct. And so I'm gonna just showcase the innovations here and really there truly are some things here uh, that haven't been seen by any other purifiers on the market. Uh, you know, six times smaller, twice as fast, uh, some great innovations. So some solutions for whatever space you're in, whether you're in a garage, a maker space, or you're in a home, in an office, how you can eliminate those uh, uh, you know, smoke, uh, those fumes, uh, the vapor. So check it out, AP2, IF2. All right, so for this video, be sure to use those timestamps if you just wanna skip around to something in particular. Uh, but first off, why would you need a purifier or a fan? Well, obviously lasers, they produce smoke, uh, lots of smoke, especially if you're cutting MDF, you're cutting wood, lots of smoke, and you wanna evacuate that smoke. Now, uh, these X-Tool lasers, as well as other lasers, they do have a fan that's already built in, but that's just not gonna be enough to evacuate uh, the smoke uh, and the vapors from your space. And so that's just, just not enough and so what you really do need is at least an inline fan just to pull the air even further and really to expel it um, so a lot of folks what they'll do is with the laser you'll have it in an office and then you'll just uh, hook your hose stick it out the window but just using the built-in fan from the machine it's usually not enough uh, one exception I guess would be uh, the brand new X-Tool P2S have a video on that that does have a dual really powerful fan uh, and that is enough if it's a short uh, span uh, but a lot of folks right you really just want to make sure you don't you're not breathing any of the smoke you're not breathing the fans and so you really need something like an inline fan uh, to propel it now there's units like this so this is an x-tool product um, I've used other ones as well lots of inline fans but these are really big and so for six times smaller uh, and twice as powerful you're you're pumping out all of that air out of your space. So you at the very least do want to consider an inline fan uh, for whatever space you have just to evacuate that smoke and dust so it's not coming out of other ports. It's not sitting in there. Another reason why, if you have too much dust, uh, too much smoke in your space, that's gonna interfere with your laser. Uh, you're gonna get less quality uh, of cuts, of engraving. Uh, it's gonna cause all kinds of issues. So you really wanna make sure you can evacuate the smoke. And of course, you wanna evacuate the smells. So lasers, obviously when you're using a laser, you wanna make sure you're using the correct materials. Uh, there are some materials you will never use. Even if you can get rid of the smoke, you're just never gonna do it because it creates toxic fumes. But some materials like acrylic, while they're safe to use, it does produce formaldehyde when you cut. And other things that are just, they don't smell great and you might, you know, after a prolonged you know, exposure, get some headaches uh, and some other things. So you wanna get rid of those fumes. So the inline fan, its job, it's just pushing the air out. So it's pushing it out, it's getting it out. So here in this garage, I have an inline fan on every machine I use and it just pushes it out of the garage. Now, the one thing with an inline fan, while they're great, is well then that air if it's gonna blow back in or maybe you're in an apartment and you've piped it out your window well your neighbor's smelling it and they're complaining so this is not gonna eliminate the odors it's just gonna move it on and it does a great job of propelling so this highly recommend well where we come to the air purifier this has six levels of filtration and not only uh, is it gonna take all those things so you don't have to have a garage open or you don't have to have a window open you can have it all in this space it's gonna go through all these layers and eliminate most of those vapors, right? You're not gonna be smelling this stuff and, and it does a really good job. So uh, the air purifier also, spin it around for you, has the option, right? It's gonna go through all these cycles, it's gonna come in, it's gonna go through all the layers and it's just gonna pop out here. And out, out of here, it's gonna be clean air. Uh, it's pretty clean. Now, maybe you're super sensitive. If you're super sensitive uh, to fumes and there's just like a hint, uh, you could put another pipe here and then pipe it out further. Shoot, you could have a pipe here and the inline fan and then propel that. But this is gonna clean that air. Uh, so if there's any kind of harmful stuff or, or just things that irritate if you're, if you're sensitive for you know, allergens or, or whatever, it's gonna purify most of that, and it really, this one does an incredible job. Uh, I've used other purifiers. Uh, obviously, I've used the inline fan, and just that smell of acrylic, it is, it's nasty, right? And it does give me a headache when I'm you know, doing it prolonged. But when I'm running this, and if everything's connected properly, I'm not smelling those fumes. Uh, and so, anyway, some options here and why you would need 
an inline fan, why you would need an air purifier. But let's dive into the tech uh, and the specs on this new AP2. So like you saw with that Xtool video, just kind of an overview of what's going on here with the Cyclones, with all the different uh, filters. And so uh, these filters, in a second, we're gonna take this out, we're gonna pop it apart and just show you how much is collected here. Typically on a, a system like this, you'd have a pre-filter. So Xtool had a previous one, which a lot of other you know, brands had you know, just the three stages. That pre-filter got caked up at, you know, like in no time. And so just running like one or two projects, it was pretty bogged down. You'd have to clean it out. Here, most of it is stuck here in the cyclone. Uh, and so it's in here, you can take this apart, you can wash it, you can rinse it. And then we get to the first filter. So I've run quite a few projects on this already and you can't even tell uh, that it's been used. Uh, so it's super clean. Uh, let's take a closer look. So here you can hardly tell. I've been running lots of MDF, lots of wood, a ton of acrylic, and it is not bogged down. Now here, uh, this is the, technically, I mean, it says it's the first layer, but really the cyclone is your first layer. Uh, with these pre-filters, right, we could just use a hose. Uh, well, you could use a hose, you could use water, uh, but an air hose, air compressor, blow it out, and pretty clean. But it's already, most of it is stuck right in here. We'll open this up in a second and show you. And then we have our second, our HEPA filter. Obviously not much got through here, so we're pretty clean. And here, this one is like perfectly clean. Uh, let's do a side by side. So you can kind of tell uh, this one here on the left, that's that first layer and there's the HEPA. So really, really clean and white because most of it uh, is here. So just a slight discoloration uh, after running quite a few projects. All right, so after that pre-filter uh, and this medium efficiency filter, these ones right here, these are the ones that really are gonna trap those odors. Uh, so this one right here, uh, ooh, all right is heavy, right? It's a, a lot heavier duty, uh, kind of like the other filters that you might be used to. Uh, there's a lot more. I want to make sure I get the name right on this one. Uh, this is the activated carbon filter. Uh, it effectively removes uh, formaldehyde, the VOCs, right? Most of that stuff is going to be here. And normally what would happen is you stop there, right? So you'd have a pre-filter. You actually would just have a pre-filter, uh, a high efficiency filter, and then the active carbon. You'd be done, but this one also has the cyclone, then, 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 and then we go a step even further. Uh, so then this next one here, you can take a look at it. Again, these are so clean. Uh, everything got trapped either in the cyclone or in that pre-filter. Hardly anything made it into that next layer. Not as heavy. So this one actually takes some inspiration uh, from surgical masks. Uh, and so this one is called the ultra dense carbon mesh filter. Uh, and it removes lots, ma the majority of the smells uh, from acrylic, leather, uh, wood, all that good stuff. And then finally, we have the high efficiency filter. Uh, just one more step. Again, this is perfectly clean. So again, it's passing through six layers before it pops out. And so uh, not only is it removing the smoke uh, you know, from your space, but it's removing the smells. And especially these last three uh, just go even further beyond anything uh, that I've experienced uh, to really eliminate those odors. And I guess you probably wanna see in here, uh, so everything, it goes, it comes in, right? It comes in, it goes through the cyclone, then it goes through all the filters, and then it gets down here at the bottom, and then it pops out the back, uh, where then you could, if you wanted to, uh, hook up another hose, uh, an inline fan, and pull it out even further. Uh, but everything just slides in here. It's actually pretty easy. Let me slide everything back, and then we'll talk more, some testimonials, uh, some of my experiences, and uh, just what I've noticed. All right, so we'll go number five. Slides in, make sure we get the right order. So pretty easy to get everything back in. And it does, again, it has that foam there just to make sure no air is uh, seeping out on any of those uh, sides. So a little bit got to my uh, level two, the first HEPA filter, uh, and there was some, 
right? Some here in this first one, uh, but not, not much at all, right? It still goes through. Again, most of it is coming right in here. It's in the cyclones, kind of like with vacuums, um, and it's all in there. So we'll open this up in a second. I'll show you how much gets trapped uh, in here. And there you have it. And then magnetic, it's like that. So now no air is coming out any which way. There's magnets, pretty slick. Let's make sure we're going the right way. Even, even stronger seal. There we go. All right, and there you go. Pretty slick, kind of looks like a computer, like a, a CPU. All right, there we go, let's jump back in. All right, so some real time just to see how we're going. All right, so just got some cork coasters. These are pretty, you know, there's a lot of sawdust, and not sawdust, there's a lot of smoke. Uh, but you can see right here, all of it just gets sucked right in there, even with the lid open. Um, I am using that smart processing, so no matter which way uh, the coasters are, uh, this is the F1 Ultra, it does have the camera in here. So that's a really cool feature on the F1 Ultra and on the P2, P2S. But anyway, even with the lid open, so if you're curious, what if I'm doing like the conveyor and I have it open? Well, it's still pulling in. Uh, there's no inline fan, and this is just using uh, the air purifier. So there's lots of different settings in the system. Uh, they're smart settings, that's a, the great feature. And so uh, there is, let's go around back and see it, all right, it's working. Um, right over here, we have this little dongle, <laughs> a little dongle, uh, a little uh, attachment. So this one works on any of the Xtool devices that have uh, the port. Uh, so like the P2S has these new ports now, uh, whereas the old P2 doesn't have that. Um, this extra little feature allows for uh, the smart feature. And so if that's plugged in, you could do the auto sensing. Right now I have it on manual. I just went with full speed. Uh, but if you have automatic on, it's gonna go ahead and adjust uh, the speed of the filter built uh, based on your material. Uh, and that's significant because some materials like acrylic, there's that formaldehyde or like those other nasty things. So it's actually gonna slow down the process instead of full speed because it wants to make sure there's enough time for it to absorb um, all the, the smells at the bottom. But here you can see even when it's further out, even with the lid open, uh, none of the smoke is coming to me. All of the smoke is getting sucked in here. Uh, so again, there are some applications, specifically on the F1 Ultra or the F1, where you might have the lid open a bit. Uh, but even with it open, it's pulling it in. Obviously, if you were running the uh, inline fan, it would do the same thing, it would be powerful. Uh, but let me show you, even if I drop it down, just to, to the speed one, even just the first setting where it, you can tell it's even quieter. Um, so if you're doing a material that is uh, you know, slower setting, wants to not push it uh, through all the layers as quickly uh, because of the, the different fumes, even still, even at the, the first level, where it's a lot quieter, you can hear that, um, it's enough to pull everything in. Obviously there is the built-in fan uh, for the F1 Ultra as well. But um, anyway, just a, another little little sneak peek and yeah, those are looking pretty cool. So some options. So of course I cut a ton of acrylic. I love using acrylic for different projects and the smells are just, it's atrocious, it's awful. And so the AP2 really does help cut down on the smell uh, going through those extra layers and it really eliminates most of the smells. Gotta make sure everything is tight and where it's supposed to be. Uh, and you will, like when you lift the lid, you're gonna smell some residuals in there, but it really is, is a game changer as far as the odors. All right, as to the specs, right? So I could use a tool like this that measures uh, the speed uh, of the air. I don't really know what I'm doing. So I got this and I was gonna do the test, but I'm like, you know what? Uh, Xtool did all these tests just to tell, you know, how much air is coming through for both the inline fan. They also did a VOC test uh, to test how much, um, you know, if you come out back, how many, um, you know, how much VOCs are actually coming out here, how much smells. Um, so I can just, you know, speak from what I smell. I don't smell the smoke on this. Uh, when I run the acrylic, you can get maybe a, a little bit, but nothing like normal or like using a different, you know, uh, the older air purifier um, really, really cuts it down. But anyway, Xtool did a lot of testing, so you can check their website to see all the specs where they used 
all these different fancy tools and got all the technical data. Um, I can't really speak to that because that's, you know, I can just give you from my experience. So definitely if you're if you're curious about all the specs and the tech, uh, just check out uh, the, the link down below to the units, uh, both this one and the IF2, uh, and they'll tell you, you know, they'll tell you all you need to know. But anyway, pretty cool. So here is one of those tests from Xtool. Uh, so they're actually measuring the VOCs. Uh, so here you can see it's plugged into the exhaust uh, tube, the duct. So without you know filtration, the, the levels there. And so obviously they did a ton of tests and you can even see other machines, other brands are, are tested out. And then uh, to the output at the back of the purifier. So after it goes through the six levels of filtration, uh, how many, you know, what's the percentage of VOCs present? And so uh, again, you can look at their exact stats on the website for, for you know, the claims. Uh, but obviously lots of testing, you know, 500 folks in their R&D, just ensuring this is as best as you can get uh, for eliminating those odors, uh, those harmful gases. So not just the smoke, but also the smells uh, and all that uh, other stuff. All right, I wanna to speak to this a little bit more as far as the smart settings and just adjusting for the material type. So Xtool has already done that with their Air Assist, uh, where if it's plugged in uh, to the machine, it's gonna adjust uh, based on the material or the application of what you're doing. Well, the same thing here, if you're using uh, Creative Space, if you're using XCS, uh, using the material library, it is gonna automatically adjust the, the power based on the, the power of the settings based on what material you're running. Uh, like I mentioned, you know, acrylic, you do actually want to run it slower. I know for me, when I first started, I just wanted as much power as possible, suck everything out, get rid of it. But when we're running through all these filters, if you go too fast, uh, it's not going to, you know, all of the different carbon mesh and all the different materials, it's not going to absorb all those VOCs and all that, you know, those, those fumes that you don't want to smell, the odors. And so it's going to automatically adjust that. So that's a really, really cool feature. Uh, again, that works on uh, some of the, the newer ones that have this setting, um, S1 as well. Uh, but anyway, that's a cool feature about the smart setting cool application. All right, so I want to show how much has been picked up uh, just by the cyclone before it even gets to that first filter. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take these screws out. All right, so you can see here, um, especially with that coaster, right? All of that, all of that would normally go in my pre-filter. Um, so you can certainly soak this. You could wash this more. Um, if you have really nasty stuff, I can't quite tell there, but um, right, this isn't even that dirty at all. Uh, but if I did a lot of items, if I ran a lot of items, uh, I would probably have a lot more. So let's see how much has actually made it into that first filter. All right, so normally all of that would have been in your first filter. So that's gonna prolong the life um, of your pre-filter. Uh, and so it just means less is going to go through. Uh, these are going to last so much longer than other filters. Um, obviously, you're going to have to replace, but X will really uh, try to make these a lot more affordable than comparable units. And you could certainly get a lot more life. I think they're saying like 10 times the life uh, of your filters. You could probably just spray this out and go a long while. So the Cyclone, really easy really easy to clean out. So as far as cleaning the Cyclone, it's really easy. Uh, really easy, put it back together. Uh, you could, uh, you know, spray it out with an air hose, uh, with an air compressor. You could also soak these, right? And Nextel actually says uh, soaking it is a great option, especially if you have a lot of that gunk that you get from plywood, the glue layers. Uh, if you ever have a honeycomb that's nasty with all that stuff, a lot of times that it's gonna get into your filters, whereas it's gonna get stuck in here. So um, a degreaser agent uh, works great. Clean this out you don't have to replace this uh, as opposed to how you would with filters. So the Cyclone uh, makes it way more efficient because it's kind of, you know, it's like the vacuum, like the Dyson or, you know, whatever, like those vacuum, the, the Cyclone ability. Uh, and then it's just gonna make it that much cleaner uh, right here. So clean it, add the screws back in, slide it back in place, you're good to go. So I wanted to give a little bit more love to the inline fan just to show. Um, so this is, it's awesome. It's pretty straightforward like a normal inline fan, but you can see the size comparison. It's obviously much smaller. So it's six times smaller, uh, but has twice the output uh, as far as the power. Uh, so here is compared to the X-Tool unit. Uh, here's an AC Infinity, which a lot of other folks have on the market, especially before X-Tool came out with theirs, but you can see just comparable size. So size-wise, much smaller, but really 
powerful. It's also insanely easy to clean. You just swap it out, right? It's just a twist and you have access to the fans uh, so you can clean it out a lot easier than the other units. Uh, so that's another great feature. Uh, but again, really, really compact. You could certainly mount this on the underside of a desk or a table, wherever you have it uh, for ease. Uh, but an inline fan is a must. Uh, here's some uh, projects, little sneak peek of some upcoming big, big video coming. Uh, but here's the inline fan. You just, the idea here is it goes further, it pumps it out. Kind of hard to see right here, but it is expelling a ton of smoke as it's cutting through that plywood. Uh, I can kind of tilt it. You can see in the sun, uh, all that smoke that's coming out. So a lot of that smoke would be in my garage, would be in my space if I didn't have this inline fan. And there you have it. So the AP2, the IF2. Awesome. Awesome units. And honestly, it really is going to cut down on the smoke that you have in your space. It's going to free up uh, lots more possibilities. So if this video provided value, please consider subscribing to see more videos like this. Normally, it's not just a review. It's just these were accessories. I really wanted to just showcase these accessories. If you want to see videos on some of the projects, if you want to see more about uh, the slate coasters and the deep engraving, uh, if you want to see all the other applications, I have loads of videos on that. I do also have a side-by-side -side comparison on all the X-Tool machines, uh, the brand new ones, and just what they're uh, geared toward. Like I mentioned, these units units do work on other other units, right? X-Tools actually tested them on other brands, uh, lasers. Uh, this could also work for welding. It could work for 3D printers uh, if you're using certain, you know, materials that, you know, have fumes. And so lots of other applications, not just to lasers. So definitely check that out. Uh, there's some great pricing uh, X-Tools offering right now. So make sure you check out either this link uh, right here or down below. This is our affiliate link. We do get a small portion uh, of each sale help support the channel. Uh, but there's some really, really great uh, prices and promotions that X-Tool's offering, uh, both to, to new people, uh, to X-Tool products, but also uh, to loyal X-Tool customers. Some really great uh, promotions and deals and really reasonably priced for all the tech uh, that went into this. Yes, X-Tool does send me these tools in exchange for videos, uh, for, for making videos, uh, but I do love X-Tool and I have worked exclusively with them in the laser world, uh, you know, for this last year, just because of a lot of different things. One, uh, they're so, right, there's lots of new ideas. So they have over 500 folks uh, in their R&D department coming out with new ideas, new machines, cutting edge all the time. Uh, they have a really wide user base. So there's so many other folks who are on X-Tool machines, uh, specifically the Facebook groups. You can get lots of ideas, people ready to share, lots of videos. Their software is free. Obviously, you could use Lightburn on X-Tool lasers, uh, but their own, uh, X creative space, their XCS software, really easy, really intuitive to use. So, so I absolutely would recommend both the AP2 and the IF2. I think these are great additions uh, for all laser users. Again, any machine, these would work with any machine. Awesome solutions to eliminate those smells and to get rid of all the smoke, right? To extract all that nasty stuff. I really love that X-Tool is considering safety, right? They, they put safety at the forefront. You can see that with a lot of their, their last couple of machines and the new initiatives that they've been pushing forward. But with this new system, safety is obviously at the forefront. So uh, especially with these last layers, the new additions, super stoked uh, just to see what they come up with next. So anyway, there you have it, the AP2. The IF2, uh, if you have some questions, drop it down below. And until next time, take care.